We just spent $530 at our very first Azure standard pickup. I wanna show you what we got and talk about the process. Welcome back to Heartway Farms. If you guys are interested in Azure Standard, make sure you go ahead and check out the link that's provided below. That's our affiliate link, and it does help us with getting a little bit of extra money to help feed these hungry kids. Yeah, there's so many kids. <laughs> no, it's a good thing. Um, okay, so we just got back from our very first pickup from Azure Standard, and a couple things. We ended up driving, it was about 50 minutes to yeah. get there, oh, and 50 minutes to get back, of course. And we technically didn't go <laughs> to the closest location. No. There is a location that's 10 minutes closer, but I decided to go to this other location for two reasons. One, because I had a friend there who was, was already continually uh, you know, picking up there. So she knew the process, she could tell me about it. And then um, also one of you guys, <laughs> or two of you guys, I should say. <laughs> a family. Uh, Nicole yeah. and Mindy and families um, were uh, at this other location. So I wanted to meet you and so it was fun to, mm -hmm. fun to talk to people and see how the whole process went. So uh, we drove there. Um, of course, it was like sleeting outside because <laughs> it's April in Illinois, right. you know? but they were like a well-oiled machine, at, the, at least at this location. Sure. You guys will have to give me some feedback on your locations. Um, the coordinator was uh, very effective at communicating about how everything went, and I really appreciate that about this particular coordinator. And I think in the, even in the time leading up to this, she That's was very good at just the updates on the time, the um, the number of boxes or items that you were getting. So lots of communication. She was very organized and I appreciate that. I had reached out to someone from a different location and I'm sure she's wonderful and fine, but just didn't give a lot of information to me. <laughs> so right. it was super helpful that I knew exactly what to do when I got there. I knew what to expect. She reached out to the new people. Yeah. It was really nice. So if you are a coordinator out there, props to you. You guys are doing a great job and just sure. we just appreciate what you're doing. And this was at the Wheaton, Illinois location. Yes, okay. Yes. <laughs> we yes. can just throw it out there. Okay, yes, we went um, to the Wheaton, Illinois Something location. I noticed right away, just for those, because I didn't know what to expect at all. Yeah. Like we pull up to a semi-truck in a parking lot, like, <laughs> what's this is kind of sketchy right um, so but something I noticed is that you just got to be willing to jump in um, they have name labels on all of your boxes and items yeah and everyone just kind of starts making piles of your items um, and kind of sorting by name type of thing so just be willing to jump in there start grabbing things reading the name labels and then just kind of calling out last names and creating a pile something they, that maybe some coordinators might do is have like a they might have like a five gallon bucket with like a, a name on it just to mark a location. Yeah. This place just had piles that yeah. they were creating. Which was fine, so. they still did it very quickly. Like I said, the weather was not great. Right. And so everyone was getting things done. Our pickup was supposed to be at 10, 15. We got there at 10. And there were people and there. And it yeah. was already happening. They yeah. already just, the truck was there and the people were already making piles. Right. And I mean, lots of families, husbands and wives. There was, I There's mean, a lot of, uh, 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 to be honest with you, there was a lot more of the older generation. I wasn't yeah. expect. I was expecting more like families, but there were quite a few. Yeah. Older there individuals mixed, there. It was a very yeah. mixed group, and that was really cool yeah. to see. And I got to talk to just different people. People are just on the same page, and it's just so nice. Yeah. Um, so a very good experience today. The pickup went smooth. It was. It was. Very good. Um, right. And like I said, I got to meet a few of you and I got to hug you and say hi. And I also got to see my friends. So it was a good morning. All right. If you haven't seen our video um, that we put out about the ordering process. Up there or there. We will link that right here so you can see kind of my tips and tricks that I learned before getting into this. And that's what we kind of want to provide to you guys is we're throwing a it's couple learning. of the details in there yeah. because these are things that we just went through. Yeah. And like I said, I was kind of thrown into this blind. I didn't know anything about Azure before. I didn't either. Had I okay. not done some research before, I knew that they had great products. I knew they had a great company right. and what they stood for. I knew all of that, but I didn't know how the system worked. Right. And so thankfully, I had a friend who orders from there. So Stephanie told me some stuff. Right. And then uh, also I just, I got on YouTube and I started searching the process. And when I did that, I learned all of these things. I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't realize, didn't realize that. that. And I think, 
Some people would maybe check uh, Azure off of their list and say, oh, that's too much work. But really, I'm really yeah. happy with it so far. If so, you can find a drop location closer to your yeah. location, yeah. Um, that would obviously make it more beneficial just right. the closer you can get. And in order to, just another thing that I have called Azure, and I talked to them about this, but let's say you're an hour away from a drop location, you can uh, put your name in the hat you know, to be a drop location, but you have to have a certain amount of uh, purchases. Right. Let's say if you're 30 miles, let's just say for example, 20 to 30 miles away from a already existing drop location, mm -hmm. you have to have a minimum of let's say two thousand dollars in a monthly order to be a monthly drop location. If so you, a combined order from combined, everybody in your group. Yes. That, that drop location. So okay. let's say you have fifty people that order at your location. You know you have to meet these minimums, okay. right? So um, I think it's. I mean, it might be something we look into in the future. But yeah, for sure. Let's. Um, Backtrack. Okay, so you guys saw me put in my order, and I did wait until the day that my order was to submit due it. To submit okay. it. There are mixed opinions. You guys gave me so much good feedback on that last video, and I appreciate it so much. Um, and there are mixed opinions about whether to wait or not. It was no big deal to wait. So I got on the I got on the computer, and I was able to see. Uh, what was in stock <laughs> for my cart and what was out of stock and if I wanted to switch things up or not. So you made a, sh you made a shopping cart, you put those things into there. Put everything there. in it. I okay. did not check out. So you can check out, right. it, okay. but it still adjusts or whatever. But I was like, well, what's the big deal? It doesn't affect anything whether you check out or you don't check out, except that you might get like locked in at a sales price. But right. nothing, I wasn't getting anything on sale except for one thing. Um, so it wasn't that big of a deal. So I got on there in the last day and I was able to see that some of the items that were out of stock were back in stock, which was great. So I got some of those items. Right. Some of the items that I wanted were suddenly out of stock. So I could make a choice. I could go and try to find something else. So one of the items that did not come was the Azure standard brand of their cocoa powder in bulk. Okay. I really want I really wanted that because we needed it. Right. Um, but that did not come back into stock. So they present an option for you. Like, do you want to buy equal exchange, uh, which is whose coffee I got? Do you want to buy equal exchange cocoa their powder? Version of it? I decided no because it was more than double the cost. So, so because I don't know, real quick. It, it seemed to me looking at the packaging that they cover everything from like Grains. chicken grain food all the way to things like frozen bagels or frozen chickens, like frozen, whole chickens. frozen whole chickens. Yep. So like everything from the, yep. your livestock feed yep. all the way to your frozen items. Yes, okay. my friend uh, Stephanie, I keep talking about you, Stephanie, because yeah. we just talked about this, but she's been doing the uh, bulk grain for her chickens okay. and soaking it. So anyway, that's that's the process. So I when I checked out, I pretty much knew what I was going to be getting okay. or not getting. And um, then I received an email shortly after that, that my order was on a truck and shipped, okay. and I had a a uh, like a play by play on what things were shipped and what what things were not, and I had three items total, so I got ten items. So I was gonna supposed to have thirteen. You had ten items, as in like boxes, bo as okay. they that's okay. how they clarify. Okay. So I had on this table it looks like a lot, <laughs> but ten specific categories okay. of items that I actually got, but it, I was supposed to have 13. And I will say the bummer about those three things that I can look on my list here that did not come, I kind of needed two of those. Okay. So now I need to go to the store, and which I'm gonna be doing an Aldi stock up soon, you guys, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, stay tuned so you don't miss anything. Mm -hmm. Two of those items that did not come, I really needed. I wanted to restock on salt, and I, I tried to order the Himalayan pink salt okay. in bulk, like five pounds of it or something, and that never came back in stock. There wasn't a flour that I really wanted, a 50 pound bag of flour that did not come. And then I already told you about the cocoa powder, but otherwise everything else came. Awesome. And I, I am happy enough with this that I will put in another order for next month. And I will hope to get maybe some of those items that didn't come in the stockpile here and you know add it to the stockpile right. but let's go over what we did get okay because <laughs> some of these things are things that you guys recommended which i really really appreciate and things i wouldn't have thought of um so first of all 
they send you, uh, no matter what, they send you a sales catalog, which is nice, so you can kind of look through it. They have seeds, they have grain, all of those things. So that's cool to look through. Let's just start with flour and sugar. Sure. We use so much flour because we bake all the time. All, the time. all right. We, we bake, should probably get a commercial oven. We, <laughs> we bake our own bread and all of our own desserts and all just all the time. So I wanted to try. I didn't want to get a 50 pound bag of the of really I did because someone recommended this one. But I got um, a 10 pound bag of the all purpose flour unbleached. This is one of those items that said it was sold out until like very last minute and then suddenly it was available. So I've got this 10 pounds to try and make sure that we like it. It's the Azure Standard brand. And if we like it, next time I will, I will order more because I guarantee this will be gone by next month. Right, because so we, we got a, we go a through pallet of that coming next time. <laughs> Not a pallet. <laughs> no, I don't want to stir that much. <laughs> so unbleached flour, we use that for all sorts of stuff. And then um, one of you guys recommended this flour can you read which one that is? Natural is Choice Artisan. Yep. Artisan Baker's, Baker's Craft. Organic Wheat Flour. Sure. And uh, That's a lot of names for one flour. Yes, it is. And I, I couldn't get it to come up until I really put in all of these words. So the Central Milling Company Artisan Baker's Craft Organic Wheat Flour. That's go. a mouthful. But one of you guys recommended this and said this was your favorite. This was also out of stock when I put it in my cart and came back in stock okay. right before. So I've got 50 pounds of that, like I said, 10 pounds of that flour. And I, there are some things that we are not going to have to stock up on again this year, and that's oats, spelt flour, semolina. Right. Because those are all still... I'm thinking if there's anything else. Those right. are all still super in stock from our Country Life Naturals order. That you have in the storage? In the okay. stockpile already. Yep. Okay. okay, so organic cane sugar. This was a great price. That's why I was totally fine with getting a 50 pound bag of that. Right. Plus we're not, I know you guys are gonna have opinions about this. We're not scared of sugar in moderation as long as it's good quality sugar. And some of the fake sweeteners are just no, no good. Yeah. So anyway, we're we do that for treats and stuff like that. Um, otherwise, our favorite sweeteners are maple syrup or honey. Uh, so those are those are our go-to. Real quick, we're gonna get questions on this because I always see them. Yes. Real quickly, how do we store our flour? Okay. Real quick cover. Yes. So for your flour. Um, when we get a big bag like this, a 50 pound bag, or even a small one, doesn't right. matter. I get a garbage bag and I keep, keep this in the paper and I put the garbage bag over the outside and kind of tie it up because I want to keep everything dry. Right. Then we have a chest freezer. And so I, I take the whole bag that's inside of the garbage bag and I put it in the chest freezer and I leave it there for a week. Right. I mean, you could leave it there for two weeks. It doesn't matter. Right. You leave it there so that you don't have any buggies or critters or anything growing and developing in there okay so to stop all Kills the bugs all and all that stuff we, yeah. you freeze it leave it in there yeah. for at least a period of time yeah and if it's winter time i just put it on the front porch that's not okay. insulin it's just cold right so you want to freeze it and let it freeze solidly okay right. then i bring the whole thing out and i let it come back to room temperature completely okay. i take it out of the bag out of the plastic bag and let it come to room temperature. So it still stays dry. It still stays the dry. The actual bag of it. Yes, you don't want it. wet flowers, no good. Right. So then we store it in either airtight uh, tubs right. with like bay leaves on top to get okay. animal, keep animals away um, or in five gallon buckets and we seal those as well. Okay. We have never ever <laughs> had issues with bugs. Right. Um, because maybe because we don't store it long enough. We well, just and that's the, that's the other point right real quick here is so we don't we're, we're not storing flour for 20 or 30 no, years. No, we rotate through it so we're quickly. We're using it, we're consuming it, and yeah. you guys think we're crazy, but that's no. okay. No. We're actually cycling through our products yeah. and we're using them. So we're not, our, our goal is to keep them bug free yeah. and moisture resistant. Right. And it's not like we're trying to keep something air removed so that it's good for 30 plus years, something right. like that. Right. So we're, we're, not we're consuming the product right. and we're rotating it. Exactly. Okay. So we have not run into that at all. all right. Even with my pastas that we store in mason jars with a silica packet. We just don't have issues with 
okay. with that because we go through stuff so quickly. So we get flour, we get sugar. What else we got? Yes. Um, let's go up here. Oh, okay. Baking powder. So this is the Azure Standard uh, non-GMO baking powder, non-aluminum. They don't advertise it as not having aluminum, but then when you read the in, when you read the instructions. There's no aluminum. So I went ahead and got this to try and use up. And I can only imagine it works the same as, um, what's the name brand? Is it Rumford? Right, baking as, as powder. the metal baking powder. No, 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 that wasn't the metal. It was, they had, they, <laughs> I don't, they, <laughs> well, I don't they, put, they put aluminum in Do baking they? powder. That's okay. why you don't want it. And we use it a lot. So anyway, I'm really excited to try this and I hope it works just as good. They use tapioca starch in here which is different from try. the Rumford. So I'm hoping this works just as effectively. I'm sure that it will. Um, I know people are really happy with Azure standard products. Excellent. So, okay, let's move on What's to, yes. Okay, so this is a product that uh, my friend recommended and it is the Azure Market onion soup and dip mix. And I tried this at her house. I think she had it when we were there, didn't she Marie? Yeah, okay. So you put this Stephanie? in like, yeah. You okay. put this in, I think sour cream hey, Stephanie. or something. We keep talking about stuff. Yes. Anyway, you can use this for soup or for a dip, for veggies, dip or whatever. So I got um, three of these to try because it was really, really good. So that's more of a treat, okay? Um, this is a shiny bag. This was also another thing that one of you recommended and this, I got two packages of dried hibiscus petals, whole certified organic and it's like a, they say as an herbal supplement and um, one of you recommended buying these. We love sun tea and this and herbal tea. Julianne loves all of that. All of us do. Sure. And um, we're going to be using this for some teas. Um, and they're it's so so good for you. And it's like practically like an herbal supplement when you're 227 drinking. 227 servings. It's a, a lot, lot of cups of tea. All right. Yeah. So we got two bags of that. All right. Another item that was highly recommended were the black cheeses. And we, so this is raw milk, uh, white cheddar cheese aged for over 60 days. And um, yeah, we are big fans of white raw cheddar. Right. And so I'm excited about this. It is sad how short of a time this is going to last in my house. Yep. I'm just being real. And that's, we're going to use those, we're going to use all that cheese on <laughs> making organic tortillas. There we go. So you can absolutely make a homemade tortillas, but uh, it's so nice in your stockpile to have frozen tortillas. So I'm going to, these came frozen. I'm going to pop them right back in the frozen, in the freezer as soon as this video is done. So we can keep these for a, a nice meal. These are Stacy's big organic unbleached white flour tortillas. The ingredients are super clean. I'm really happy with them. Cool. So we're going to taste those and see how they are. Okay. Um, I'm experimenting with coffee right now. And so I got two different kinds from Equal Exchange. We've gotten Equal Exchange before and we liked it. So I've got some ground coffee. I'd love to hear if you guys can comment below. I would love to hear besides Azure Standard, what are your favorite coffees? Um, I'm kind of looking to go the organic route if I can. So tell me what your favorites are. Okay, this I bought. Pacific I didn't food. see this before, so that's Pacific. why I'm looking at it. <laughs> Josh is seeing all of this for yeah. the first time. Okay, so. Uh, we're not, I, okay, I don't micromanage the food stuff no. here. So like, this is something that they run with and they take care of. You know what I spend though. No, we do. We, we, I'm not, it's not like I'm oblivious to it. I mean, I have to eat it, so. Um, but it's, it's something that I don't micromanage. So like, let people run with their thing and do their thing. And this is something that you do and you do well. So, well, thank you, dear. <laughs> but it's okay. there's just enough projects going on that I don't, have, I don't have time to do everything, yeah. right? Um, so this was an add-on purchase that I was not planning on getting, and this was just something to, Frivolous spending, to I see. throw. Well, I'll tell you why in a second. <laughs> so you guys have already seen our video on how to make your own homemade cream of chicken soup, condensed soup, you know, to use in recipes and stuff. Sure. We have a video on that. We can link that here. But it's fun to have some easy, quick... Yep. Pre-made Fast then. meals. We are busy people here at the farm, busy at home. And um, the reason I love, sorry, I got to look at this. The reason why I love Pacific Foods uh, cream of chicken soup is that it is way, way, way healthier than the typical brands that you would buy from the store. This was, this whole thing was on the sale page of Azure Standard. So okay. I highly recommend scrolling through if you have time. 
the sale page, I mean, I could have spent a thousand bucks if I had a choice. Gluten free for all you gluten free gluten -free, people. Gluten free, yep. They have real quality, uh, the Pacific brand okay. of soups. Awesome. Uh, really like their ingredients. So anyway, that was on the sale page. That's the only reason why I bought those to put in the stockpile. Okay. Because we have regular cream of chicken. Now we have this cream of chicken and we know how to make homemade. Excellent. So we have all of those things going. All right, what's this okay. stuff up there? Up here, this was another recommendation from a friend. This is uh, Nancy's Organic Sour Cream. I was like, if I'm buying the French onion dip, I have to buy the sour cream. We like sour cream. Ready made. Ready made. You, we know how to make homemade sour cream, but it's, I don't know, sometimes my kids prefer store-bought, yeah. to be honest. It, if we had to, we could make it, but it's not a favorite. Right. All right, and then over here, bagels. <laughs> this was purposeful. I knew, okay. My William could live off of bagels if I let him. Mm. I don't let him. I don't, okay. but he could. And I'm just, you know, when you look at the ingredients of the, the cheap bagels, I was like, it's not worth it. But um, these were a good price when you bought the six pack. And this is a nice, easy breakfast for a Sunday morning when you're in a hurry, getting ready to go to, to church. So this is with sprouted wheat, cinnamon raisin. So I load it up and these are frozen. So I'm gonna put them right back in the freezer when we're done talking. Well. And we have 12 different meals there for breakfast. And sure. that's really easy and way better ingredients. I love the ingredient list on there. Okay, and last but not least, oil, okay? Um, many of you recommended the different oils, Co uh, the coconut oil, the olive oil, and the avocado oil. I use, so I ended up this time because I already had plenty of, of coconut oil here from our other stock up. Right. I ended up doing the organic extra virgin olive oil. I think that one's a little more solidified. It is solidified. It's it was cold. In a cold truck. Okay. Yeah, super cold. Yeah. So anyway, this is very good quality uh, olive oil for not for this is not for like our soap making or our lip balm or anything like Consumption, that. Consumption, right? This is for eating cold. Okay. So, and then last but not least, the organic avocado oil. I use the avocado oil for a lot of things for cooking, but on my cast irons because it has a high smoking okay. point. Um, so I like using the avocado oil to like season sure. the cast iron, iron pans and to um, cook cooking them so it's just six that's just a dollop to put on there to yeah do, tiny yeah, like yeah. tiny little squirts of it and yeah. it goes a long way so anyway that is it so how much do we spend total on this with the shipping cost yeah. and they i guess they charge because of where we're located you get kind of like a tax okay um it was 530 dollars okay and um this is going to last us a long time the different things Portions spread out. Yeah, yes, yeah. spread out. The cheese out. will be gone fast. But. The cheese will be gone. <laughs> the cheese and the coffee will be gone very fast. The rest of it will hold us over for a long time. So I, after going through the whole experience, I will absolutely be ordering from Azure again. I will try these uh, flowers and tell you guys how I like them. Right. Both of these were recommended, so I'm not too worried about it. And so was the baking powder that was recommended too. So um, I'll let you guys, you know, test your stuff and then tell me what you like, what you don't like. If you didn't comment in the first video about your favorite things from Azure, please tell me below. Yeah. What are your favorite things going into it? And I would love to hear it because I'm going to be ordering next month and doing another pickup. I'd like to bulk up my flower supply uh, because literally even at Walmart, yep. it's cheap, cheap, cheap flour, but still they're not carrying their bulk flour right now. Right. So you're And then uh, in a couple it? videos ago, we went to Sam's. Sam's. Um, and they had very selective choices on flour they there too. They only have all purpose flour. The refine, yeah. Yeah, and no no organic options, which okay. is just not cool. I'm just, yeah. I don't know, I'm just not gonna spend the money on that anymore. I'm just gonna spend the money on the good quality and ration it right. out. That's how I feel about it. So anyway, that is the haul. The process went really, really well. Okay. I would love to hear from you guys about what you like and what I should put in my cart for next month. And I hope you are continuing to stock up and, yes. and build up your pantry and kind of get, get that food all stored away. Uh, just you guys know things are happening. So don't forget to check out our referral link below for Azure Standard and we'll talk to y'all soon.